Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to Arsenic Candy Gaming. And welcome back to Roguebook, or welcome to the full release of Roguebook, as it is. I have spent many, many, many hours enjoying the pre-release demo of Roguebook. But I have not had much time to play the full release yet. So we're going to throw out maybe one or two runs of this over a couple of week period and um do you know what? i think i might even do a, a review video i might make my first review video on the channel of roguebook because i've been thoroughly enjoying it for those who are new to roguebook roguebook is is made by the people who created Faria and the creator or co-creator of magic the gathering it is a roguelike deck building rpg game and it's bloody awesome Anybody who's new to the channel may be interested to know that uh, my other obsession outside of Caves of Kud and roguelike adventures is roguelite card games, uh, beginning with Slay the Spire and uh, progressing from there into things like Ring of Pain. Um, and there's been a few others, but Rogue Book is um, kind of unique in a way. It, it it takes elements of Slay the Spire. It takes elements of Monster Train. It's just an all-round bloody lovely game. So I've done a couple of runs to get used to any of the new elements of the full release. Um, there are some new cards that we've not experienced before. There was a tutorial, which um, I began the first video and the tutorial was running and it kind of ruined it a little bit. And that's why this is the first video. Um, but let's go. Let's pick up our buddy Sirocco. For those who are unaware, um, the uniqueness of Rogue or Rogue Book, I keep call, I kept called it Rogue like like three times in the last video, and we're gonna try and avoid doing that as much as possible. Um, the uniqueness compared to something like Say the Spire is that we have a ally. There are more allies to unlock, but at the moment we have our first mate, Sorocco. So let's bounce in and see what we can do. Let's open the gate and get our way into the world. Now, when, uh, should we go straight in? Oh, there are. This is something that has definitely um, you ready, big guy? cheered me up from the full release. They, they, there are a, a lot more combats and a lot more options uh, in the world in the full release. We're going to take a card straight away. Um, I was happy to find out that cards are cheaper to draft as well. Play gold to add a card to your deck. I do like Dragon Spirit. That gives us one Courage. Courage just allows us to add an extra energy on the next turn. So extra energy on the next turn for free. And then whenever we de defeat an elite or boss, we increase the amount of Courage we get from this card. I think we're going to go with that. Let's have a look at Nadim and see what he's got. Can make some use of this. Got anything worth worth buying at the moment we could take the horse master for 50 or the war cry both heroes gain two power until the end of the turn i like that it's a good a good um boost to our attack power so let's dive into our first fight here today who've we got i imagine it's the bandits there's definitely a lot of um slow down loading time in full release that wasn't there previously um let's smash out a bit of attack and then pull up for the full 10 block against the archer okay let's lunge in and finish this dude off play our dragon spirit strike him down a little bit we should be in for uh, the end of the end of the fight in no time it's a shame we didn't have enough power to make that work out that's a massive ball ache in fact we blocked all the incoming damage but it would have been nice to have polished him off there which we might well be able to do here indeed we did 
There has been a little bit of controversy surrounding Rogue Book. Um, people were up in arms about the uh, deluxe edition content, and uh, therefore the creators have, ex have changed the way the deluxe edition worked and given the content available to all purchasers, which means that those of us who purchased or pre purchased might have wasted a bit of money but that's okay i've thoroughly enjoyed road book and i think it's worth every penny i've spent on it so far should we use your brush to reveal paper tiles around the world in a radius of two yeah we'll take that fuck it it's too i, I say we'll take that it's too late i already did it let's use the rune of sight What's over there? a little bit of money that we don't want um Let's see what the narrative encounter is. Your heroes meet an ancient Kappa sage. Having spent years meditating in solitude, he seems eager for the company. He offers to teach them some of what he has learned about the mysteries of the rogue book. Secrets of the Earth. Gem mines. Um, <clears throat> gold piles. Yeah, good. Gem mines, I think we'll go for. Marvellous. We're going to go up and get one of those straight away and see if there's anything we can socket it into. When this blocks, deal twice as much damage to the leading enemy instead. Okay. So that's something we should socket for Sirocco. Um, because he has some hefty block available to him. And deal twice as much damage to the leading enemy. Hmm, nice. Let's go in and draft another card. We might get one of those large blocks that we're after. I do like Lacerate, but I also like pets. We're going to go for Lacerate. Excellent. Excellent indeed. And let's proceed to our next battle. More road warriors. We are not getting the cards we want there, are we? Bit of courage for the next turn. Let's lacerate the dude at the front. We might be... Well, we should be able to finish at least one of them off on the next turn. We might regret not having uh, dug deeper into him. Cool. So... We'll take the 18 damage. A regrettable decision, obviously. We, it, we should definitely have polished one of them off. That first opportunity. But you're all dead now, so get to buggery. Apply this pigment to your brush to reveal all spaces in a three-tile range around yourself. We're going to go up here and do that. to get some golds the rune of sight uh, yeah let's draft a couple of new cards attack for 25 combo gain two plot block plus two additional block for each dagger in your hand that's no good to us Sirocco could do with some damage. I never noticed his ass hanging out the back of his trousers there. Yeah, Sirocco will take a bit of damage for you. And we've unlocked a talent tier. We can get some massive block now for him. Which we cannot. Gain seven block during the enemy's next turn. Each time an attack is fully blocked, add a dagger to your hand. I do like that. Gonna go repost. It is a useful skill. You're not wrong there. I hate feeling like I'm wasting any part of my uh, paintbrush. But there you go. Sky Tower. The Alchemist. We could probably make use of that. I don't know how much the Alchemist costs in 75. So they've half the cost of using the Alchemist from the demo. 
Let's choose our talent. Bargain Hunter. Shop charges 25% less. Brewmaster increases fortifying brews block to 5 instead of 2. That's pretty good. Whenever Shara takes damage, she gains 2 stacks of courage. 25 less gold. Or fortifying brew. We're going to go with the Brewmaster. And then we're going to go for a normal battle. And move onward. Now, we need to polish one of these guys off as quickly as possible because... So that'll be blo blocking 13. Two damage. That's okay. We can take it. We're we're tough. We're a harbor chick. Um, part of me wants to... Oh, we can't finish him off anyway, can we? So... We'll regret that. We'll regret that. Seven damage. That's okay. We've got plenty of heals about the place that we can use. So um, let's lacerate you. We'll go for the seven repost. Daggers it is then. Daggers it is. Should we dive in for the flatten or is that quite... Let's just dive in for the flatten and then defend. And then lob a dagger at his face. Happy days. What are you going to do? Half our... Oh, trip to the first card that hero plays costs two more. One more, sorry. We're blocking all of that anyway. No problem. I've got to start thinking better about how we uh, spend our points and uh, worry a bit too much about the outcome. Alas, it is only a game. Victory indeed. Noble Ink. Four in a straight line. Mecha Cannon. Whenever you play a ranged card, deal five damage to all enemies. We'll go up there for that. Should we take on the normal battle straight away? Let's go straight for it. Let's get... Let's, let's accrue some ink so that we can go and start spending some ink. Warcry. Lacerate you. Maybe we should take six damage just to finish one of these dudes off. Might regret it. Then we can focus him. He's dead anyway. So, kill you. Do we block? Yeah, we'll block everything. No, we won't. Not everything, obviously. That would be too easy. So be it. Hmm. Dragon spirit. Lob a couple of daggers back here. We need we need you up. Sorry, mate. I hate to do that to you. You're going to have to tank the damage, but that's what you're here for, so... It was only one damage in the end, anyway. He has no more friends to send out. We can finish this dude off. We can finish that dude off. We can war cry. We can repost. That gives us a dagger for the next turn, if I'm not mistaken. Which finishes the boss off. Marvellous. More ink. We'll go up here. The path is blocked. 
the path is blocked. Hopefully not, not blocked again. Whenever you play a ranged card, deal five damage to all enemies. Yes, we will take that. Definitely could do with a little bit of health. Which we will use momentarily. Let's transform one of our cards into a powerful new card. 75. <clears throat> we will transform one of Shara's Defend cards. And we will go for... Ranged Lacerate. Ranged Quick Strike. I'm going to go for Ranged Lacerate for some reason. I don't know why. It spoke to me. Windstorm Charger. Whenever the hero swap, deal damage to all enemies equal to this ally's spirit. Attack for five damage twice. Block. Retreat. I'm going to go for that. I've got a feeling that we might regret what we've spent some of this money on, but that's a worry for future me, not current me. Are we in a position to take on this elite? Possibly not. It seems that not everything we paint can be explored. These areas feel heavier. I feel they, I think they are obstacles that will block our path. Something that was obvious but not explained in the uh, pre-release. These buggers. Right, so... Yeah, we'll take that. And we'll smoke bomb to retreat. Six, twelve. Two damage. God. Done. <clears throat> Done. Fully blocked. Fully supported. Um. These guys are bubbled, so we can't do any damage to them, which is crap. Eight damage. Ouch. That's more damage than I was willing to take, let's be honest. So, Dragon Spirit up. Oh, jeez. Um... End of his turn, he's dead. We need a strike, a guard. Flatten. <clears throat> that was fun. We didn't really need the guard, but there you go. Decisions were made in the heat of battle. Yep, we'll go for that. Quick strike climax ally. Each time Shara deals damage, this deals the same amount of damage and loses one spirit. I think we'll go for strict tyke. We've got quick st strict tyke. We've got a lot of um, cards for Shara and not an awful lot for Sirocco. Let's have a look what we've got going on over Yar. Each ally gains one spirit. If the equipped hero did not attack last turn, they'd gain two power. At the end of each battle, add a random card. Can't buy any of those. Combo. I was rather hoping that we could get some cards that had a lot more block in order to use that ability but we're not going to gain one and draw a card at the start of each battle each turn the first time you play a card that costs two or more gain one okay 
Shara starts each battle with three courage. It's extra energy. We'll take it. Um, even though this doesn't heal both of us a sufficient amount, we're going to use it. And then we're going to go and take on another normal battle. Hopefully it's very pain painfully normal is what we want out of it. Um, you need to be at the front. And then we're going to start trying to drill this guy down because we don't want any of that. We'll just finish him off. And we'll block three. 14. Job done. So we're attacking from the back now. Um, lead. Combo. We didn't add the bloody gem to it that we wanted. Should have thought about that. Should have thought about that. We'll get that sorted. No way to pull our buddy forward. Should have done that first. Ooh, 18 damage is going to really hurt us. So we need, we need our buddy up now, don't we? Or we'll just finish him off. That'll do it. That's just as good. Noble Ink. So it's time to go and get some more life. Let's patch up. I believe there was another one over here, which we should probably take. And then we need to spend some of our ink. Um, leave the shop. Will you not let us over there? You will. Windstorm Colossus. Whenever the heroes play a card, decrease the cost of Windstorm Colossus by 12. Or by one, sorry. That's good, because after we've... So basically three turns, four turns, maybe. We've got three courage on the first turn. So we can play more cards first turn. So potentially by the third turn, we can start using Windstorm Colossus, which does 12 damage every turn. So it makes sense to take that. Is spending this ink just a silly thing to be doing? We're going to go in for the big big fight i think anywhere else that we might like to explore beforehand probably not let's go take on the elite how tough an elite are we looking at i can hate these boys um combo yeah we still didn't aff affix our ability to it that's annoying Who can we finish off here? Courage. That's right. You. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. He'll pause for a turn. Oh, wait, he didn't pause for a turn. I'm mistaken. Get you gone. Ally up. Now we're doing an extra 12 damage a turn. He, he'll be dead in no time. He'll be dead in no time. So we want Sirocco at the front. Defend. Lacerate. Strike. Uh, we'll, we'll leave Sirocco at the front. He'll get hurt, but he's a tough guy. He's a big booty boy. Uh, 
That's GG's. It's GG's from us. So we've increased the strength of our card as well now. What have we got there? After you play this, return it to the top of your deck at the end of your turn. When this blocks, what card were we going to use that on? No, that one. That one. That's the one. Deal twice as much damage to the leading enemy instead. After you play this, return it to the top of your deck at the end of your turn. Yeah. We'll go for Dragon Spirit. We can um, start stacking some courage on top of everything we do. Very well. So, let's go and spend our ink and see if we can... Um... Hmm. Should we do that? Yes, let's go here. Use that to go up there. And then fire off a paintbrush. Bit of gold. Bit of gold. A, p a page of the rogue book. Um, that allows us to upgrade uh, our meta gameplay. Is that the word I'm looking for? Our meta game, basically. Meta progression is the words I'm looking for there. I don't think that we survive this. Let's go and spend whatever money we can over here with Nadim. Another ally? Another ally. Yeah. Two allies is better than one. It's double the pleasure, baby. It's triple the fun. And now we are up against... Is that who I think it is? I was about to ask you the same. Seems like this book has driven him completely mad. Now, I have no... reason to. I, I believe that's one of the extra characters. Only recognising his arm from, his, from a sprite uh, on the Steam page. I think when we beat him, we might unlock him to use... Shit. Five times two. Okay, we're going to take a bit of damage there. So. We'll do that. We'll combo to bring our buddy forward. And then we'll flatten him for 25. I might have fucked up one of our cards here, actually. I might have... Might well have screwed the pooch. We've reduced his vulnerable. What's this? Enraged. The cloaked hunter is enraged when under half-life. So he's doing a significant amount of damage now. I'm guessing. <clears throat> Horse master. Um, please don't die. We need more laceration on him, anyway. Jesus. Dragon Spirit. Do five damage. Need a way to draw cards more. Please don't kill anybody. Um, he's going to do 37 damage and we are not going to be able to block it. No matter who we use. Bugger. So we've got some wounds. That's going to plug up our deck. Oh, brilliant. I'll hold them off. Steal yourself. Okay, he's dead anyway. He's dead. 
<clears throat> I didn't think that one through. <laughs> was a big one. It was a big one. You're right. A vial of rejuvenation fully heals both heroes and clears all wounds. Excellent. A treasure. Kaleem's amulet. At the start of each battle, add four Kaleem's prayer. That draws two cards, all right? Energy is stored between turns. I don't mind that. The first time... First time each turn, the hero, the equipped hero plays a card that costs two more, draw two cards. We'll be for energy being stored. I don't know what that is. Crystallized Faria. Whenever you draw this, reduce its cost by one. Melee. Retain block. Oh, okay. Gain block equal to the size of your draw pile. So it's melee. It costs less when it's played from the front. We'll get for those cards. A treasure. Cephas Cloak. Legendary. Whenever the hero is below 50% power, 50% uh, HP, they gain 3 power. And we will equip it with you, because you're always going to be below 50%. How long have I been here? We don't know, but we're here to help. It all seems like we're all stuck in it. It seems like we're all stuck in this place. Come with us. We could use your strength. Very well, but consider this a temporary alliance. See for the blood time will now be available in your base camp. So he's like our glass cannon then, I take it. Knife juggling. Whenever Shara adds a dagger to your hand, add twice as many. Uh, Vaults of wisdom also always offer one card with one random gem in it. Okay. Both heroes gain plus one power. We'll take that. Lost in the Oversky. We've arrived among the floating islands of the Oversky. Watch your step. Ancient primal magic keeps these islands above the clouds. They are chained together so as to not float away from one another. The creatures here are normally docile, but have become agitated by the rogue book. Find your way carefully. All right, mate. Uh, let's go for the Vault of Wisdom straight away. <clears throat> Pierce. Deal 10 damage to the leading enemy and 5 to the next. That's all right. Uh, play only if Soraka is leading. Bravery. Ranged. Cost 1 less when played from the back. Gain 7 block and 2 courage. I like that. I like that. But this, discard a card at random, reduce this card's cost by a one. So that's always free. That's 15 damage, essentially. But it discards a card at random. If we use it last on every turn, that's not a problem, is it? Let's see what Nadim's got for us. Nadim Baggett. He's here to talk about pentapeptides. Rolling camouflage. Each time the hero swap this turn, gain four block. Reap. Does something when an attack from the air from this kills a non-summoned enemy. Yak hide, Capabongo. Okay. You got some good stuff there, my friend. We'll come back and have a look at it later on. The spawn of Istanu. Iranu. So, ally, strike, lunge, peers. 18 damage. That's going to fucking hurt. And it gives us the aura of weakness. Uvavu. Could have put the block up. Could have attacked from the back. Would have been fine. Everything would have been fine. Uh, he's going to block all of that. No problem. Is the weakness gone now? Good. It was a single turn. Dragon Spirit. War Cry. Strike. Game over. Next. Well, that's not to be sniffed at. Precision Ink. Let's go straight up for another Vault of Wisdom. Hopefully we can get something worth... What is this? Deal five power to damage this hero. They gain one power. Oh my goodness. We want to deal damage to ourselves in order to gain power. 
I don't know about that. At the start of your turn, okay, outlaw. Rune of Sight. Random factor, show us your power. That looks cool over there. I'm going to go sh straight for a big fight. Let's go take a big fight. Get some big job done. The Rokoan Cannoneer. We will lacerate. Combo. Gain when this blocks, deal twice as much damage to the leading enemy instead. So we don't actually block. We're just dealing 20 damage. It's not a block anymore. It deals 20 damage. I can take that. That's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Quick strike. We'll do that. We'll flatten. And then we'll go up for a guard. It's going to hurt. It will be significant. But that's the game. Green shield. Maintain. Gain block equal to the size of your draw pile. We don't need that at the moment. Retreat and then green shield anyway. Oh, we, we have no... Oh, we do have a, a draw pile to speak of. <clears throat> if only there was a way to utilize whatever block we're building up. Or we could have saved all those points, uh, the energy, to play on the next turn. Um as works as well we know do we want to gain six block six block for us and get hurt or just five block for him and him get hurt but not matter too much in the long run i don't know why i act like he doesn't matter very much in the long run we've won anyway so i'm sorry that you had to take such a battering there sir okay I'm sure it makes you feel useful, at least. One square. That's not the square I wanted to do, but there you go. Mistakes are made. Have you just stolen my... What have you just stolen? Not my um, energy, which is all right. He's stolen one of your treasures. As the heroes enter a blossoming forest glade, they find Maginata, the spirit of Everlife itself. Here is a place of neutrality and power. Maginata will deliver boons to all who visit without fear of favor. Shara steps forward. Um, they're equal in boonage at the moment, so Shara. Ask for healing. 10 max life. Blessing of Maginata. Gain two power, heal for five at the end of each battle. If the hero dies, the blessing fades. <sighs> She's quite likely to die. We'll take, it. We'll, we'll take increased life. Maginata gently places her claw on Shara and her, her right claw on Shara and her left on a nearby tree. She closes her eyes and concentrates. The tree begins to wither and fade, but Shara feels the vital energies flourish. Shara's mind flashes with the images of rain, sun, and wind. They discover that trees, too, have a memory of all of their own. Ten max life, not to be complained about. Let us, let us heal together, brother. Nice. 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 And then we'll take three straight inkages for a fight. Hopefully not too tough. These boys are annoying, aren't they? Whenever this takes damage, lose two power this turn. So we're at the front. Let's start doing some damage. Block. Block. Bunch of daggers. Bunch of daggers. So we want to lacerate you. We want to strike you. We're going to put our ally up. We're going to throw three daggers. That gives us a free Windstorm Colossus. We're going to take too much damage here. Ow. 
Ouch. So we're going to pull you forward. And then we are going to lacerate. Play the horse master. Strike. Green shield. Job done. Job done. Oh, we could have swapped, couldn't we? Could we? Is there one of these swap us? Yeah, it does. Dragon spirit. Flatten. Kill. I mean, we, we took a hefty hit to our health there. Um, but I guess it was to be expected to some degree. What's this? At the end of each battle, the equipped hero heals for life. We're going to use... <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, and that puts me in a position where I have to have this fight in order to progress. Attack for 15, retreat. Oh, can only play while Shara is leading. Yep. Talent here has been unlocked. Take cover whenever Shara takes damage from an enemy attack. She retreats and gains plus four power. At the start of your turn, if Sorocco is leading, draw a card. The first hit of the battle inflicts inflicts bleed equal to half the damage dealt yes um what we could really do with here is a heal but i can't see it being a possibility anytime soon hmm face stone Decrease the cost of a random card in your hand to zero this turn. Lightning strike, charge, combo, attack for 10. If this is turn one, attack three times. Apparently, we're just going to go balls out crazy and see what we can achieve. And I imagine that what we can achieve is going to be very little in the long run. We have no choice but to take this battle on. We might well die. <laughs> it's highly likely that we will die. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, she's out. Let's get rid of one of them. Sorry, Shara. It's been a pleasure sharing this with you. Um... One, two, three, four, five. Come on, come back with a card. Nope. So we're going to take 20... 15 damage now. No, we're not. You're dead, so that's okay. That was a mistake, because now he's got 20 block. So we need a big hit now, don't we? That. Three. Ooh, just about. Just about. Oh, victorious. Victorious. I didn't imagine that we would last this long on the first... Um, run of our heal for life before. on the first run of our new series but there you go things uh, worked out better than expected didn't they um we we need to find a way to head down here for a heal that's going to require doing three tiles in a straight line potentially dying at the hands of whatever is in here. Couple of jellies. That seems highly likely to be something that will kill us. Uh, game block equal to the size of your draw pile. Yeah, okay. And then we'll do that. End turn. Carry over two... Ha uh, two an extra four. 
Nice. So, um, sugar plums. What's this? This enemy intends to, intends to do a piercing attack. Any unblocked damage will damage both heroes. Shit. Uh, that's possibly two dead dudes. One dead dude, at least. So now we have a handful of uh, wounds and a, <laughs> a dead Sirocco. We spoke too soon. That's the end of the game. That's a shame. That's a shame. But there you go. A, a fairly successful first run uh, for the series. And uh, a great introduction to the full release, I think. We've unlocked our first unlockable hero. Which I think we'll probably check out in the next video. I've been asked at Candy Gaming. You've bloody, been bloody marvellous as always. Sorry for the slightly longer video, but thanks very much for joining us. Don't forget like to like, comment and subscribe. And all that other wonderful stuff. And we'll catch you on the next episode. You take care now. Bye-bye.